Yo, watu wetu mambo vipi? No shake the valley boy hapo manze. Yeah man, that's what's up. Dennis Lele with an eye water go on you guys. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Yet another course, episode. <laughs> leo tuko na guest. Yeah man. Naenda ku introduce straight away, yeah. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Dennis Kibei. Correct. <laughs> semeni, semeni, semeni. <laughs> uh, my name is Kibet. Uh-huh. Uh, and I'm happy to be here. Karibu Karibu sana, bro. With the Good Tit podcast. That's uh-huh. what's up. Uko fresh unaonanga tu kitu mazee pale YouTube lakini leo uko kwa set. Unaonaje kwanza set? Ah, jana unajaribu ama vijana vijana wamepitisha standards. Yeah. Yeah. Vijana wamepitisha <laughs> standards. That's what I can say. It's cuz yeah. as in I've been wanting to join the podcast for a while so I, uh-huh. I think yeah. I think ni vile sasa mimi unajua mimi si celeb but uh-huh. tunajaribu pia leo tumepata shimo kidogo tukasema aya uh-huh. wacha tufanye but uh-huh. kazi ni nzuri uh-huh. yeah man ship ship media solutions ndio uh-huh. msema kweli sasa hivi uh-huh. asante uh-huh. man asante but uh, at the end of the day si then kama mtu anahitaji like uh, tu lazima uko celeb ndio uanzishe podcast yako ama nini kweli but uko uko na idea mm. go with it In with it role. very fast mm. Una chapa chapa. Niaje bro? Tumepoteleana. Bana tumepoteleana. Eh? Mara mwisho nikutana na Umse tulikuwa <laughs> tulikuwa kwa club. Ashangaa <laughs> unani anakunywa. Eh. Anakunywa maji the whole time kwa eh, club. Hiyo <laughs> ni mwaka gani this year? Eh, eh. last year imekuwa imekuwa I think hatujapatana this year. Yeah, tujapatana. Oh, tumekuwa pamoja even since uh, I remember the first time we met with you. Tulikuwa tulikuwa wapi? Tulikuwa tunaenda thrift social. Oh yeah. You remember? Yeah. And then and then now from that we are very nice friends. Uh-huh. And then and then sasa ukaniuliza mbona na kunywa maji. Eh. Nikakuambia sasa maji gani? Kuna maji maji alafu kuna maji. Sasa before that before that, before that eh. Mimi ni msinilijua jua deno like nilimjua mimi niliona deno kwa magazine. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Na way back na oh, yeah. bado high school nini. Huu uh, msio unajua si si usimbona hivi hivi. Ana si walishapiga. Yaani hakuna kitu wajafanya hii Nairobi. Yeah. Mm. Cheki. Mm. Wewe deno limeona mara kwanza ilikuwa mambo ya events Nairobi ile mm-hmm. mataimu sijui kulikuwa na ilikuwa Sky. Kulikuwa na kulikuwa na we used to be used to do so many events back mm-hmm. then. Uh-huh. So kulikuwa na Skylux. Uh-huh. Uh, those were the biggest clubs at those times Skylux. Uh-huh. Alafu sasa kulikuwa na privé uh-huh. but we were not mostly in the club scene. Si tulikuwa uh-huh. tunadua our own events. Uh-huh. So kulikuwa na club iconic. The, b- back then it used to be called club ban. Uh-huh. Alafu also kulikuwa na Impala. Uh-huh. Also kulikuwa na events huko. Uh-huh. Alafu kulikuwa na if people many people remember kulikuwa na place in itwa Splash uh-huh. Waterworld na ku, yeah. eh, Langata. Uh-huh. So we used to be two rival uh, event companies so mm-hmm. there was meta and there was imagination agency mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so meta used to do daylight in some mm-hmm. daylight fest basically so tuko reserve tuko acha lakini nasikia daylight in some years jukina nani watakuwa natamana kupanda basi kuja Nairobi alafu ukiwa na after movie mm-hmm. back then events used to have a lot of sentimental yeah. uh, meaning to so many young people mm-hmm. because i think it was the only thing that used to bring people together mm-hmm. so i unapata and then the clubs in then ilikuwa imeshazimo unjoy hizo ndio zilikuwa zile times when i when i grew up i want to go to tomorrowland mm-hmm. oh yeah unakumbuka yeah una yeah, una yeah. ultra music festival mm-hmm. nasema kai siku moja nitaenda mm-hmm. so um our, our own our own uh, stable of events was called ultimate hangout ultimate uh-huh. hangout uh-huh. and uh-huh. funny thing yon is ndio ilikuwa hiyo ndio ilikuwa yetu uh-huh. and funny thing um our 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 target market ilikuwa cool kids uh-huh. many people used to say our own target market was very very more normal compared to daylight uh-huh. oh yeah the daylight fest ilikuwa kila msi uh-huh. yetu ilikuwa more of cool kids alafu yetu ilikuwa drug free uh-huh. allah That is a funny thing as in come to think about it nikona jambia ama i was manifesting it into myself uh-huh. yeah. because um two years later i stopped drinking yeah but then doing events which were drug free i think it to patia more clout at oh, that yeah. time because kitu gani mzazi atakataa uende yeah. ni drug free so by the cuz you time imagine maybe hata kama uko umemaliza tu high school na ambie mzazi mimi naenda hii event kwa mahali drug na jua yeah eh anakubalia and go shot and pay fair ai ulikuwa unapewa so and then kenye then we used to do it at at our grounds ilikuwa inaitwa 
Nitoje? Ilikuwa inaitwa KRFU. Uh-huh. Where rugby union iko. Uh-huh. Pali OKD ko actually. Uh-huh. So so we did it and then you know what happened. The first event ile enda sawa. The second event. Uh-huh. I'll tell you a very funny story. Yeah. We had 5000 people. 5k. What? Kids. Na any any age group yangu as in I'm even sure everyone who's watching this podcast mm. will we, even when they comment they mm. will tell you exactly what happened on mm. that day. Mm. The people that came for that event. Mm. We shut down Gong Road for six hours. What? Police were to me tear gas could disperse what. I say bro walikuwa walikuwa movement man walikuwa movement. And you ni mchana bro mm. our events used to start at 10am and mm. by 10pm. What 12 hour event. Unaona? And then utapata care few so alikuwa amekuja na stock ya pombe yao ya club yeah. na watu wanakuja kutulia they had like a small club before mm. orchid came along mm. do you know by 2 pm mm-hmm. they, they didn't have drinks they didn't have water they didn't have liquor any type of liquor hold on bro so no, you know me I'm a graduate eh? no you 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 as in <laughs> our event is drug free uh-huh. but at juju vile wao wameenda wakaanza ku buy vitu kwa bar oh, oh that's what i wanted to ask you understand mm, yeah mm. The event is packed to the brim. Mm-hmm. You know, na? Mm-hmm. And we were walking around with money in our pockets. Like no job we were sending a campaign of pesa the real cash. That is how our gate was. Do image kwa ma saves. Yeah. yeah. Tunazichukua tu kwa gari yenye iko kwa one of our friends cars yeah. at that time. It's yeah. called Banjo. Shout out Banjo by the way. If you ever mm. see this, you are a real nigga. Mm. So, um say to alikuwa na Benz um Nitoje hunchback. Yeah. So alikuwa tunaeka uh, pesa hapo kwa taya yake. Unajua taya ya nyuma yeah. pali taya inalala. Yeah, yeah. Tukatoa hiyo staff inashikilia taya. Yeah, yeah. Tukaeka ta- pesa kwa kwa rim. Kwa kwa rim chini ya rim. Unaona? Yeah. Until ikaja tuko na tembea na pesa kila msee junction money on our pocket. Yeah, need the entry. By the and that is the biggest regret I ever have. Like I go back to those days and I'm like I wish to get to me a pesa visa. So time ko kuria so ngapi hivi kwa tulikuwa like seven uh-huh. so it was me uh-huh. uh, BK Bran Kiplanga Charot Bran Kiplanga by there and Radin we were the first three people to mm-hmm. for yeah. to we were the head on shows of imagination mm-hmm. back then Radin out our works now for carry mm-hmm. same poor so, sana so bro, your time kulikuwa na page na ito Nairobi 616 mm-hmm. ilikuwa imefunguliwa ama bad that one was already going live uh-huh. and ilikuwa page ya my bro shout out peter tanoi by the uh-huh. he started that page and it was as unajua vile msetu anaweza mo something stupid yeah. and then unajua ni boy ni bro wako so uh-huh. mnalala pamoja unaona shitana do uh-huh. collect like, um see ni nini anafanya uh-huh. guess what ni blood blood bro uh, ni bro uh-huh. ananifuata yeah, you yeah. see what happened huh? you know what this guy was doing uh-huh. until nikasema this is the genius of marketing I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. And mind you that time face uh, Instagram mm. kupata hata f- 1k followers. Ilikuwa mlima. Ilikuwa mlima. Cuz I feel like uh, yule mwaka gani bro? Bro, we're talking 2013 2014. Yeah. Mm. Umsiako high school mm. at that time. Mm. Unacho kini bronga alikuwa na do. Anaenda kwa page ya Mdem. Mm. Mdem Ameva ana screenshot. Anampiga shout, shout out. out and a screenshot so, and I'm big shout like out. Yeah, bro, you Nairobi 616 ni kama Nairobi ni kama ni bro my bro was so big kina mpasho waliko wanamuomba our repost here staff mpasho gafla when gafla started yeah and pasho started no no bro ngo na madem on dm wanakini post wanamwambia why are you why are you posting me delete that photo unajua vile madem anakwanga na kariva yeah. psychology delete yeah. ndio akwambie yeah. yeah. now you know why are you doing this next time ask me nicely <laughs> brongo hako ana give a shit uja mm. ana post ana post akiambia anaambia udem ni aje you have a problem report me una get at all women i'm sure on this podcast na anajua wako over 28 sai uh-huh. over 25 over 26 <laughs> na just say they look back on those days and they're like by the way <laughs> yeah, by yeah. the way <laughs> so yeah, yeah. najaribu ku imagine sasa we bro wako kwa uh, Nairobi 616 mm. yimko kwa events mm. imagine hiyo page imepost kuna event na come up wa rembo na ingia kwa hiyo event you know so like coordinate yani manzi hiyo traffic ilikuwa crazy mm. bro unacheki my bro changed events in overnight mm. My bro started hizo page yake ilikuwa ilikuwa kwanza watu walikuwa naingia madem wanaingia unajua vile madem hiyo time they used to use facebook mm-hmm. so instagram was very not many people used to use it because of also of data and, yeah so unapata unapata as 
as life moves on many people are now understanding what instagram is what is happening around instagram na shama picha yako supu supu yeah guess what bronx sasa kanza kwa ana tag too and as in madim wengi atago in a day anafanya 15 posts shit you understand uh-huh. so unapata maninja wako like eh hey, bro unataka madim kuna hii page and then unacheki maboy wanaambiana na pia madem wanafanya nini wanaambiana that thing grew i remember ilifanga 5k tukados we woke up the following morning iko 11k 11000 back in the days i'm telling you my bro built success nairobi in less than two months aliko 200k followers what you were so big na hiyo ni organic following organic akun hiyo time you couldn't market even facebook themselves instagram mm. them hako wanajua there is money behind social media yeah they didn't know about advertising yeah hiyo time tuko tuko very few mm. success nairobians were so big my bro is even more famous than me up to today my bro actually everyone who sees me mm-hmm. people wanani simamisha wanasema peter tanu i'm like bro I'm his brother. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> you guys are look alike. Eh, yeah. yeah, by that yeah. he needs to come actually and say his story. Hey, to kuja kuambia story by. Eh, anafa kuja kukapa awambie. Bro, this guy was so next level. Umsi hako anaishi timeline yetu. Ameenda anaona Nairobi Gossip Club. Na jo tu sho. Unaje tu sho. Hakuna msa na jo na kibaga na sijui. Unaka hivi chini like umsi hako ako sijui. Umsi kama hapa bana. Bana bana. I'll actually tell him. I'm going to incorporate at least alikuwa saidia ku post na bado mnafanya events ili how was it? Unaona my bro, my bro, there was a time when our events were not doing well. My bro used to support me. U jamaa alikuwa na literally i used to be i was i was t- when you were doing events um, which i'll go into that tuliko tunafanya ma posters zetu nini then my bro was like naje kibet instead ya mimi kupatia ase wa wa hii kampuni do ya design uh-huh. so unfanya hizi design biombe mimi niku oh yeah, yeah. yeah. oh any design ah yeah. uh-huh. graphic yeah. now yeah. i taught myself self taught by the yeah, way yeah. and that's a story i will cover later in the podcast okay. it's cuz unapata at that time i didn't have money ni manza kampo Mm. events zime zime kwa bits like now there was change of music hold up umeanza camp ama umaliza camp ni manza camp bro you doing you you planning oh, we started you're... doing events when i was in high school so bro. so 5k <laughs> bro we were, we did we did now uh, a night event mm. that did 12k what and it had an, an international artist everything is online you can actually just check google oh, yourself bro you in squad in nairobi kabisa like oh, yeah. kama yani teen hiyo time yani governor ama president angetaka kuongea na teenagers haya mm. uh, ni sisi ndio tungekuwa kwa angetafuta yeah, yeah. sasa maliza story alafu tuambie growing up yako ndo ndo to try ku link <laughs> what you did while you're still in high school so uh. so my bro became so big mm. i remember um, the owner of skylux alimpatia so many gigs especially za sirok i i know not many people right now drink sirok vodka but i can assure you sirok vodka was so big back then mm. and sky vodka mm. so big mm. that my bro ali sirok vodka sirok vodka sky vodka and jameson yeah. they were so big that my bro used to come home with bottles and you had to do to napeleka wapi and you know we are, we are a christian family our folks are yeah, yeah. kanisa yeah. so unapata mazetu na sneak in unaona and then ama tuna tunakunywa alafu jua tuwezi ingia naza kwa nyumba mm-hmm we give them out no no so you used to even get paid 150k there's a time we, my mom and i and peter mm. we went to kcb mm. we opened for him a bank account na ka deposit 150k check that's before before india campo bro my bro is still in high school sai no. oh, the, the time, time. The time. what 150k na hiyo ni gig ya weekend so as in see 150k gig ya siji two weeks three weeks, weeks. Mm. Just on weekend. Just on weekend. Oh, oh, you, you need time when you see so see when you go go valley weekend. Tunaonea pal. Yaani ngefika Friday mbio hadi library. Actually, yeah? nini lia pen sky like. Yeah, yeah? Nini lia pen sky like kina sijui shafi white party. Mm. Yeah. Hey, all white party. You call all white party. <laughs> Actually, I still have pictures on my Instagram ya all white party. If someone can yeah. go down down come mm. down the memory lane. Not as yeah. you even my bros nini. And then apparently sadly one of our friends mm-hmm. aka i don't know what happened aka hack page bro and then 
aka change and then i think now everything died from that no. what it affected even uh, no yeah okay by the time we we were calling it quits doing our own events mm-hmm. was also because there was a bi- a big change uh-huh. from the type of music being played in that era mm-hmm. and also the type of music that was now getting airwaves yeah. that time we used to play house music uh, edm music uh-huh. anything electro no no mm-hmm. but then as time moved on uka una realize ah wa so manza kupenda naija you remember naija was the yeah, thing yeah, that naija will come through kina yeah. yori yori change a lot of things no no so yeah. naija inakuja and then cuz we are more of an electronic staple uh-huh. ikakuwa hard to move na crowd yetu to the mm-hmm. to like move on with them cuz most of our crowd was africans who liked house music mm-hmm. africans wanapenda nini a niger music they'll definitely move to the new wave so utapata other staples like 6am kenya nights awali baki na zungu wao na waindi wao mm-hmm. cuz these people are very loyal to their electronic music yeah. no no so then they continued they even have a lifespan of extending up to now which is over 10 years 15 years for some yeah. no no but i got the opportunity to work with all these companies mm-hmm. now that when our company took a step back to realize ni aje what can we still mm-hmm. do in the event space yeah. so to realize we have this uh, talent where we can actually manage social media for companies we yeah. can actually do branding for these companies yeah. we have a bit of taste as far as experiential projects are yeah. concerned yeah. so to come ah, let's 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 go into this space yeah. so our first client was Kenya Nights so yeah. to kafanya all major laser events and um shout out to Rizwan by the way so we did all major laser events from back then up mm-hmm. to the last major laser event we didn't do diplo but we did up to the last one mm-hmm. that was just before covid okay okay, then, okay okay compare like you know events like mm-hmm. 10 years you know ago your mm-hmm. 24 mkifanya na sai una feel like nini may change a lot of us mulikuwa into events mm. kabisa deep na sahi i'm very sure when the events you know do some of the stuff kidogo kidogo a, a lot has actually changed huh? mm-hmm. if you if you look actually at the terrain of events currently uta realize we have we are spoiled for choice yeah. and actually loud event organizers right now because once you see um, an event organizer pulling even a thousand people for an event wao jamaa amefanya kazi because Uh, and actually allowed some of the events in the country when you are majaribu um kina ni uh, inaitwaje uh, these guys who do this ama piano tour oh yeah um there's also guys who do um isima isima this ama piano ama piano tour parties no no kuna i'm just talking about events pure events oh, yeah, yeah. so utapata there's so much like right now unaweza fanya an event and nobody will come yeah. no no mm-hmm. So it's because nobody cares about your mm-hmm. your event. Mm. They don't care about the music being played. Yeah. What whatever is catching events right now is more of the artists mm. and hype. Hype. Creates so it's, it's not the music. It's basically the vibe. Yeah. Like that the artist brings. And like I'll tell you if we started going for blankets way back. Mm. Yeah. If you look at blankets uh, Modas operandi which is blankets emo back then and blankets right now mm-hmm. blankets right now are not doing even international artists mm-hmm. and that's something not many people have realized for the past few, few events mm-hmm. that they've done mm-hmm. and then you see they've gone they've done their concept totally out mm-hmm. they've stopped the uh, people putting blankets it's now a, a full blo- full blown concert mm-hmm. yeah. and it's just kenyan kenyan artists mm-hmm. so you see what they're doing is they are making they're making their events pay homage to kenyan artists mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. no no so they are being known right now as the staple for if you want rich music that is kenyan at a concert yeah you will go for blankets no no yeah but if you wanted to go for blankets back in the day times of kina liquid deep times of kina uh, mikasa what would you have done you would have gone there cuz uko sure you'll be spoiled for choice you'll get proper artists good soulful music no no mm-hmm. uh, when you're talking about our, our staple of events we used to do hip hop house no no and a bit of dance or niata muko na tuwekea pongo pongo actually <laughs> let me tell you pongo <laughs> let me you're taking me down memory lane yeah. there was a time we did when we did our first event uh-huh. 
our very first event, very first one, we did it at, at homes. Like five, ten people came. The second one was electro dance culture. It mm. was at um, a tree house. Mm. No, it was not a tree house. It was at a club called The Loft. Ukiona say um, the money in the loft more than Mirema. Ah ah, acha si Mirema. Acha don't go there you Mirema back there. Loft me as a juicy like. Loft me as a juicy. That was not the original loft. Oh, there was the yeah. Now that loft if you ask anyone above the age of 25. Mm. Actually let me say 27. Cuz it's not the kids won't understand. Bali barabara say ya Westland. Ukienda ku connect kwa Westland hapo museum hili. Those were, there, were, there were a couple of clubs up on bar sana kuliko na the loft kuliko na ballroom na kuliko na tree house mm-hmm. and then there was a whole parking lot up on nyuma mm-hmm. and then now pali ukitoka kwa the entrance outside where cavalli is mm-hmm. now from cavalli that whole space yeah. kwa those three clubs mm-hmm. so we did an event there 700 people came shit 700 people came this is a club the loft was so big it was a, like a club but it's a, like a hall oh yeah So it closed. It has a tone stage ni ni ni. So budget ya event ya music nini ilikuwa chini. We did a proper event that night. 700 800 people showed up. Tickets were above 1000. Still uh, no drinks? No, that one was proper share yeah, club no, oh, yeah. mm-hmm. And then now the third event we did. Cuz this is how we had influence back then. Yeah. We did And we, and I remember very well it was on 26th April 2013 mm. to li end up head to head with 6am 6am brought Matzo Matzo is one of the biggest house music artists at that time and even up to to up to date mm-hmm. 6am are doing the event in Kani mhm we're doing our own event Love. in I, club clubban clubban club iconic right now jockey club right yeah. now i'm telling you actually saying winning post right now it's oh, winning yeah. post mm. we did 2600 packs winning post nil ya golf eh mm. so we did 2600 packs same night kani they did i think around 1000 1500 and i'm telling you people are moving from kani to come to where we walk and they couldn't get in tickets zetu zilikuwa 800 1000 and they get mm. we as in i was even talking to one of us security guys mm. like down down memory lane my best is it like kuna jodi no event yako nilitengeneza 70000 tu hapo nje kuingiza watu so i was like yo kuna ni nini wewe chenye na peniki kwa moments mingi yeah hiyo by the way unapata kuna ma kuna ma like wasenya na simamianga security wanaunda pesa mingi kuliko msanii kuliko performer mwingine mikono juu mikono juu bana mwanza matungo sifunifinyie bastao Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. MC, MC kwa three ya manaambia watu you ready for tonight alafu apigwe 10 k asubuhi alafu unacheki one weird thing huh? mm. that people don't understand is bargaining power say yakuna Mm-hmm. That's when I say if you're an event organizer by the club for yourself you're doing a really good job. Yeah. Sisi tulikuwa tunafanya event tunaeka tickets 3k. Mm-hmm. Kwanza 6am walikuwa notorious. Those guys were doing 4000 advance. Mm-hmm. Kwa gate tunafanya wa 6k and people wanna to look. The event in was vibe na shika huko ndani bana. Unaona? We had been stable events like uh, Earth Dance. Yeah. Earth Dance was doing clean 20 mil what every every, every edition mm-hmm. no no then now we have sasa achana na hiyo sasa kulikuwa na the ratchet type of event i can't say ratchet but it was a really nice event but it used to be wild oh, yeah. mingle kama mtu anakumbuka mingle sio kama mnakumbuka heneke mingle sikumbuki personally lele alikuwa mingle but but lele alikuwa na judo stage no drift but we had that is a feel kwa event ya mchana eh And, and for some reason yeah. i usually say they took after us because yeah. once we did ultimate uh-huh. they realized yeah. you know what you don't have to be at night to do it doesn't have to be late in the night mm-hmm. to do an event so to walk on and on chukwa kani and then it's high neck and mingle so bring your own bottle but see beer oh yeah so, so they know i feel like promoters uh, if, uh, event organizers so say one of our respect man legend come back in the now cuz yeah you may say by then like You're ni legendary man. Mm, man. To do your foundation mm. by the way. As in as in doing wase yenye anakuja sasa hiyo elewi kuna mm, vitu yeah. happen hivi. Na ndio wase wali make sure kwamba ume create vibe ya kwamba events ni poa nini unajua. Mm. Hadi sasa hivi unafanya tu hivi watu wanakuja. 
Yeah. Eh, una, una say, the good thing with right now, we laid that down the and we still have a long way to go. But mm-hmm. say, but if you ask someone two three years ago, would you buy a ticket for an event? They won't. Yeah. Uh-huh. And by the shout out by the nosh. Na kwananga unafanyanga ma gigs na ma gigs zako zina sell out. Whether mm-hmm. uh, whether whether there is a big artist or it's just you. Yeah. And if you do that maybe 10 years ago, ungebaki na club yako tu umetulia. Mm-hmm. Because we had to teach people that tunajua nini? Paying 1000 shillings, 2000 shillings, 3k for a, for a night of experience yeah. is better than you just going and buying a bottle and sitting in the club. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because unapata so many people didn't have that experience. Wasa wasema unajua nini. But now to grow, unapata the moment you just leave high school, you find people like us. Mm-hmm. Now unapata our events are there and you need money. So the only people you ask for money ni nani? Ni wazazi. Yeah. Now if you're asking your folks for money, the good thing about that is it's not your money. But you keep asking because it's your folks' money. They, yeah. will, they will give it to you either way. Yeah. But now when you go down memory lane una realize once you became older like ukianza kwenda kampo macho ya tao tano yako yeah. per month per mm-hmm. week ama unaona unaanza kutumia hiyo doctor nani kulipa event tao tano that's jake what vaje ni 5000 kijana sasa hiyo sasa hiyo ugali ni shilingi 5 ah wewe uko na ugali ya shilingi 5 kwa mess eh yeah, man mess ya jake wa ugali ilikuwa yeah. shilingi 5 so ukiona 20 bo ukiona mali bora tu bora tu crash wako asikuone itaribu budget ya budget ya 15 bo boko sana eh basi ni mule enjoy campus like you know just say the difference huko huko ni west west alafu kwa chini ni kiamu huko ndani so it makes sense but um what i can say is events has been great and the good thing is i like where we are going as a country only that many people have tried to do two day concerts na imekuwa imeflop ngori by the way and it's cause unapata bado the doubting unajua sisi wa kenya we love too fast and we hate too fast oh, yeah. honestly on, on no, the no. event like umeenda kupiga sherehe friday na utarudi tena kupiga sato like, like it's it, challenging kidogo mm, it's challenging yeah? but ebu yeah. imagine um there is uh, beneath the baobabs yeah. they've done, done it for like two, three years and i've never been to the series but una kwanga na satellite events spread around the year mm-hmm. so kuna hizo makaleidoscope patamu nini those events they do along the coastline yeah one thing you realize mm-hmm. is they've built a very loyal loyal customer mm-hmm. base no no but that customer base has a big yeah, bargaining but, but power but na feel like wana jo target audience yao ju wana target wa holiday huko uh, oh, yeah. so, yeah. yeah. mali like, mm. bargaining power yao iko definitely through the roof these yes. are people who wana lipa a whole flight jumbo jet mm. wana fly mali india mo na chukua safari mm. mm. no na mm. so we also give them that opportunity where tunasema <coughs> work with your target market mm-hmm. ata sisi tukikuwa na target market yetu ya home Mm. As long as they are loyal to you they can True. come and party at your event for True. two days. Well, yeah, they can. It's only that sisi kama wa Kenya we we, we, are, we, we party so hard. Mm. That is all unapata hata una say anasema I can go on Saturday and come back on Sunday. Mm. Hata wote wanaenda people that go for October first. Yeah. Hakuna mtu anaenda three days mfululizo. Yeah. You have to go one of the mm. days without unachagua unaangalia kwa namna msani wako. But mambo ya target audience pia It's true cuz honestly bana wezi ule demo ule demo nini inaitwaje ule demo ingo ma piano ya kikui imeshika sana oh, oh sofia ama sofia always impeleka kericho na watu wanasema we shuka ni stage on na we batoto aliao kime batu si lazima ujipanga unaweza kuwa ni mnomo kwa events mimi na kuna wao wamepanga events zenye line up iko sawa kila kitu iko lakini target na audience yeah. so uh, they know, what do you think at this moment mm. day and time so is it uh, place to go mm. what do, as an event organizer what do you need the five say five three mm. to five top things you need mm. for an event to be successful um for an event to be successful kitu ya kwanza mosema there are usually a couple of things yeah. top of the mind make sure you've booked your venue yeah you've secured all permits yeah so the permits zio kwa Fire, fire station oh, so yeah. lazima kwa na gari gari ya fire gari ya ambulance mm-hmm. and also unafaa kwa na cops 
Mm-hmm. Like kunaenda police station naongea na OCS atakupatia maybe four cops. Okay. For the day. Security. Security. Mm-hmm. Minimum four cops it can go as, as high as even 20. Yeah. No no. Then when you jump on to the next thing make sure you've booked your artist. Okay. Uh, many people will tell you book your artist maybe for 50%. I'm usually like for your artist not to bail on you, you ah. pata 70%. Ah, okay. No no. And then the second thing have a partnership. Yeah. If you can. Yeah. With audiovisual yeah. companies. There are so yeah. many audiovisual companies nowadays. Back then we we used to be uh limited yeah. to the number of companies you could work with. Yeah. The number of companies that had a reputation. Yeah. But right now you you are spoiled for choice. Okay. I don't even need to own gear mm. to do any work. Okay. At a siku hire partnerships. Like una mbe msini aje. Let's do this event. We'll split on the tickets. You know? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So it becomes easier to do events that way. It might cost you, it might save you. Because yeah. event kienda sideways, it may save. Yeah. Event kienda poor, mm-hmm. you'll have to cut this guy a bigger check. Yeah. No, no. And then make sure you're working with credible people, yeah. have everything on contract. Okay. Because um the Kenyan as a same is most of our events you didn't do them with contracts mm-hmm. and kuna zenye zile tu ramba hapo mbele. Wewe ongele mambo ya events ku ramba watu. Mimi kuna event nikiwa nikiwa kampo way back nilikuwa nafanya mambo ya marketing sana mm-hmm. like you know nilikuwa na the numbers so watu walikuwa wanasema no shini aje kuna event na kama hapo kuna event ya monize ile ipangwa Eldoret mm-hmm. eh hey, watu wali yani watu walichemuka bana iko happen mbona mm-hmm. na harmonize ali, ali come add like add ld lakini mm-hmm. 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 issue like sijui ati wako wame agree terms of sijui alipo na dollars sijui mara wameleta cash mara eh hey, wasoli jamba watu wakaanza so, kurushiana maviti because zimefika time bana it's too bana watu waoni harmonize kwa stage harmonize yeah, mm. kwa kwa room anangoja ile toy pesa in dollars mm. so sije yani as in that's why mambo ya contract lazima ikuwe yeah. iko in order alafu when, when, when an artist is giving you let's say you're working cuz still working a few international artists yeah mm. when an artist is giving you a contract they have to give you their rider no no mm. na contract yao inafaa kukam na rider mm and also in a faku kama na specifics za what do you mean if some rider rider means um what type of towers they need oh. what type of water they need ju kuna watu wanakuandikia hadi the brand of water Imagine. you need to have they kuna watu wanakuambia hadi the brand of speakers that you need mm. to use for your concert because niliona yeah, hadi kuna jinsi ya because na, kuna mm. event ya ni nani aliikuamisha event australia yani the last minute ni jay z Eh na bado huyo msao Nigeria anaitwaje I think ni Malay ama nani Jesus. like after was say mm. yani bro una snap unasema anaenda kwa kwa event mm. unafika unasikia msanii ameona speaker za Jeffrey Jeffrey so Jay Z eh? stopped doing an event because uh, he does concerts with DNB speakers DNB speakers are Italian made speakers those speakers are so damn expensive the only company in Kenya that had them back then was Mosa no no ilikuwa Musa Sharot Kevin Muleba mm-hmm. ni mse ali to support sana throughout before even started in Nigeria radio mm-hmm. so madam wakalete JZ ni ni speaker za, za Kamulu Jose <laughs> no so I'm not no JZ no JZ JZ aliwaambia aliwaandikia aliwaambia kwa rider yeah. as in that is why you need to be very technical because yeah. yeah. you see that rider covers so many things yes. that are not in the contract yeah. unaona so utapata and then also hata kwa rider unapata suggestions so, yeah. because we used to work with the DJs mostly DJ na kwambia should I play a live set mm. or should I play a, a play recorded way. set mm. no no so utapata usipotik hapo yana kuja na anything anaweza kuja na flash the whole night at Zimbabwe the, the songs are still gonna kick true, true. we are very young people and used to do white boy drugs no no not that at people don't do it now but mm-hmm. the type of high or happiness people had then Mm. I can't say it's palatable for anyone right now. Yeah. Atuko watu tu wa drinks. Unaona? Mm. So so fanya yeah. research eh before yeah. item sanini ni mm. is kurambe. Alafu pia make sure the management you are using is a legit okay. management. Mm. Kwa sababu you, these artists mostly they, they are handled by different managements. Oh, okay. And one management can just take take that idea and then be lasting with the second management but they are not telling you. Mm. So they are continuing with the contracts because they are going to get a commission from the second management. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Na wewe uko in the blind. Mm. Upate mmesikizana niaje or we're going to book these seats. No no. Ni mu book ma viti. Ukuje ukuje sema baadaye we don't fly economy. No no. Ama ukwambie tu baadaye we don't fly public. Mm. Hawa nataka kulipiwa 
chata no no hawa chata tu plan yao they come to the country so nalipia ground fees ni hizo vitu zote so those are things also that tends to surpass or inapita watu because of the euphoria that i'm bringing a big artist and this yeah. happens actually with big artists most of the time wanako ngana kisirani kidogo but if you are very smart with it you can tackle that even before you make okay. you make the payment no no and it will it akusaidia sana yeah so that at least as you're doing your big event mm. you can actually manage and it's not even for Kenya anyway anyway everyone in the diaspora they can do that no no yeah and another day no mamba strategy uko sawa ana mamba yako mamba yako eh when you have events una kona game una skill mambo so unatongelesha vizuri kwanza alafu tutamwongelesha sisi kwa kwa so nicely bro so now that mambo events tumekutana na wewe ukasema bro drug free Like at what point bro umesema ai um hii nimemaliza na hii maneno so uko unafanya events za drag ulianza kutumia miadarati wapi ya kaacha let me tell you i used to um obviously every young person yeah you become curious no no after 18 so my points apa pale sherehe kidogo and then and i'm still doing events at that time actively doing events because i was actively doing events between 18 years and 20 and i think 23 mm. because I, i still used to do events in campus but campus slowed me down mm. um uh, when i turned 2015 uh, i turned 21 yeah. i was about to turn 21 kama watu unajua nini i don't need this no nikasema tu i don't need this kabisa so on first to january 2015 I've never touched alcohol up to up to now. Bro, yani <laughs> yani decision will make to go sure kuna kitu ili happen ndio kasema wa. Ai. And then Leona, Leona kuna Leona kuna ile situation sema. Eh. Wale wale mix need jana kwa hiyo punch. Actually unaona unaona like ilgo decision to li uliamka na kama. Eh eh like like and that's why I usually tell people when I tell people um I decided to just stop I don't even know. Even if you, if you ask me personally to pinpoint exactly mm. can you lini fanya ni wache kuchapa drinks I cannot say. Then you have a Niliamka tu niliamka tu nikasema unaja nini? Hata tusaidia nini na ipombe. Na nikaachanga tu hivyo. But I think huko umeikunywa vizuri. Bro, I think I think mnafa kuletea wama ma behind the scenes zangu za za dunda. Wallahi. Tukiwa na mabeste zangu. I I used to go ham. Tulikuwa tunaenda ham. Sisi mkombe brongo liko na tuliko tunaenda na bro yeah. used to have free bottles every night. Okay. So I don't she... remember a time mm-hmm. we we went to the counter and made payments for drinks when I was with my bro. Mm-hmm. No, no. So so you don't like really hate drugs ama? No, see, no, no, no. I don't, I don't any do, bad experience yeah, with it. I don't just have, stop. Yeah, I just stop. No, no. Okay. I just stop like no hard feelings with it. Like hata nikiona mabeste zangu and they are drinking na bango say ni azaji bambe. Unataka nikae na hadi saa moja asubuhi tutaka hadi saa moja. No, no. Mimi sha hanga utuna dinner for. No. Eh. Ah, ni mse ni mse by the hata unajua kuna ile nye. Ushaona ile nye unangoja mtu. Unangoja mtu aguze ama sema mimi siwezi admit kuanga kama. Amekuwa na hiyo kuna zingine. Unajua kwa experience yenye msana anakuja nasema situmi. Kumbe kumbe maybe ana kitu kwa. Oh, so anangoja. Anaogopa hiyo ndio baadaye akisema you know you guy yo everybody chuck 10 juice 10 juice. Ah, they don't ni ni you guy my guy. Ah, ni cool guy my guy but unapata mimi hata nikiwa out. When I was even out with uh hold up polygram tag gani deno. Ah mi san to me grow different neighbors but no to me kwa to me she high rise no man only them say when you let me say you gay my guy to me she state house actually i was born i was born in Nairobi hospital oh yeah yeah uh, my dad had houses all over the city oh, oh, okay to like she near mili money until i grew to kind of watch cuz my dad had a business at home yeah ya maziwa so high to, school you grew up around Nairobi Eh hey, high school ni. Ah that is why. Good That's thing ni. Ni nono jana zonge kale hebu ongeleshe. Wallahi sawa sawa. Nyota. Kuna waka, kuna section tu ya kale imekuwa ikitusumbua YouTube. <laughs> Comment section. Uh. Inasemaga tu mtumie kikale bana uh. over here and quote it. Uh. Sasa so, they know. <coughs> so guys this is in in the section tu ya got it podcast. <laughs> 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 So not that you just to ambia by the when you were born nini you grow up at the high school kampo kafanya nini until ukaanza 
Um, tume, tume jump to straight to no. Ravens, ndio? Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> kwa neta kwa sababu ya kwa neta kwa sababu wa mune ahead eno ya mune acha mege eh karibu podcast ni bago lenzi ni gada lela na lele ni god yo yo kale vizuri bana na joy kale bana so so they know eh this is it what's it funny Eh Dennis Kibet mm. anaige gurana lele <laughs> DJ <laughs> Nosh anaige gurana DJ Nosh ke bale boy yeah. so mm. eh bro eh usiti moenga le gap you know eh le gap primary ya guys school lakini king village kwane king village kwane mo baishie o mo baishie tuguju tret mo baishie ki une ki une reception like ki une reception ba rondo ka gorom ki gorom amungele sai stage nyetu ko by the unaambia nga bestia ko ni aje bro mimi nimesarete hii ama mimi nimeamua kuchukua different path kwa life yangu kuna kuna hiyo kuna hiyo kujajiwa na wasi yeto ile ile jina yako anayo gere hii amuja mwaje bi kacha ngaleji it was a very lonely road yeah gere katinda hiyo rono kacha ngna yeah angot magele kima na hiyo rono before katinda angot nguni na hiyo rono yeah yeah but gere ile ngile tamge ile lengele big chebo to to twai kuchabe kuchabe kora chep conduct twai oh yeah magele ko ile lembi chacha chida nima nima maye kuchidan mag trust ni oh yeah ko ko ti ogas eh digo mo biche changu no so according to me como atinda ngal lakini ki ki realize na le ni de bi akaba oh yeah bi jiga bi was ni de ji da le jiga yi ma ji ji maye ki mutiano ki tene lakini ni de no so ki katan enough kwa ne mi aja ma gele katan enough chita lakini igere gitu after a few weeks igere le mi jita gitu share gitu Oh yeah. so so you so, get a video of a game you yage I mean at the evening K eh a burning issue good it gele re yeah burning issue in the lolle so bro agle agle chi aga tol ne ma bai shi tere plasma mige ne jabe music do sara agle agle got ko agle ne we india ka amale anda no ah maja amale eh goti majaina ino lalo at sana sana boso sie kile to live eh kile ile sana sana boso sie kite ana aso ji dana chula kasi kile kasi ni giso manje aja ki ya kami kami dei ki 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 nge tu ko ki gimi na robi sie bendiga nimba psiki solin ana lali gutit eri ana no much eh ga ko na iba yo ana lali gutit lakini ana lali nande lakini abu rapsigis awa mucha na lapsigis yeah because i think kitar ta mungu ak ngelepta ne usus oh yeah 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 so kimite kimenye ulimbok ba sorte koli eh bom county lakini mama go yabu chapter to lim age tunda igot kido go ngulimbok apsirit na enel do re to so ngo ba mungo ne abu said zanandi na hamze go yabu psigis kipsigis au ko bomet so stick mama na toka chapter it ah yeah acha kuma mawe sugul mm. nairobi yeah. for my kindergarten yeah. acha awe ulimboga uli yeah. kikana maimze mungara kidogo na kelda chego yeah. package yeah. race up yeah, go brookside go brookside it ndai company na nyondo boga uli mm. so and then kong company it kuma mm. kuma ger company it yeah. acha ko yekewe ga nairobi yeah. so ginga giwe ga nairobi mm. after the after kibaki just take an over power yeah ken nam ge bo ke be nerobi primary yeah for primary school am on nerobi primary our my forces forces is a school in huruma yeah yeah it's a national school actually oh yeah so and then after that our nazarin oh yeah computer science oh yeah i graduate in oin mm ah yeah kazi kidogo am na ile in oin i in goman 2019 Oh eh gabre ge ngilo in 2023 alone aja aja ngati when i was still in campus i took some time off my events i was supposed to graduate in 2017 that's the that's the thing actually i was graduating in ango 2018 yeah konget i i think kimong 
Mm. So nika realize I had a single unit at Dodan. And then that unit ka gigi a young the semester ni gigi grad. Oh. Kusira. I go the school I was in go gigi one graduation pa. Oh pa year. Pa academic year. Academic year. So and then I left I joined in KCB for a few months. Mm. And then from KCB I joined in a uh, uh, an editing company. Nigi mm. ogidogo. Mm. And then from there, the small knowledge I'd got gathered from KCB, mm. coupled up with the editing company, and then our experience as Chachuk Chaba Biashara, I decided now we jige to Kanza Imagination Agency. We registered kila kitu. Yeah. Uh, from campus, we had not registered it. Mm. From high school, we had not registered it, yeah. but we now? registered everything. Mm. So again, get registered and get a tool. Can I get proper jobs as uh. taxing taxes to my yeah. file kila kitu? Yeah. So gea gita get tool according to book. Ah, right. So go 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 to heritage from then mm. up to now. We've had some of the biggest clans this country uh, has ever had. Right. Safaricom, KCB. Mm. We've worked with government parastatals yeah, yeah. called mm. KNH. Kiga ega si ta KPK, ICC. Kiga ega si ta picha changora. Che che no mbi ashara che chwak. Piche che kiga ega si ta angot Western Hotel. Kia branding, kia merchandising, kia printing. So so you know. Uh, and I worked in Let Kidogo. Mm. Uh, back in the days where I had events, mm. like I can more call a sick people be chicky or sick person. I get a moon, what we share like kid, pezud, and gag meeting of Zagela or Kagara in a Peter and Dennis. Kagara in you get a big and a lot. And then for your boy, I jam a Liboni rent. I'll go with two with you. Kumage <laughs> 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 a bit tough when you were doing it but i think they saw the lights king le gigi mwaji ni gele jini nenge no invest in ke ai authority jing vanzi ju ke ke al equipment ke al gear si ke go ite go biga la tamu da chip kondok che spend ni oh ya reni event ko che changa sa changa sa so my dad was not very receptive i can say that i go to him with receptive for a very long time actually college ing ni le tugu jugo mo makarara ago jigigie tu ago gigie tu ago ta ingo ta mungu ko me muji le ja ago ajut ko ta absus we ago ta ruti ya ga si munginye ai ni la ko enyu so and sai ta ke ale je ni ge it is very good my dad never knew i was drinking here because ki na mete ma ye ale je ge bongo ya honestly <laughs> 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 ni poa pia wazazi you know the same way mesemo your parents like at no point only sema tu hasa saju bro mmoja anapiga sherehe mwingine apigi waanze kukupenda kuliko vile wanapenda bro unajua then unajua kwa society tunapata anga wazazi nye jamaa tu no unapata hata msie hata in a lead to you know other things yeah. kama depression yeah, because true. msie ku kwa sherehe maybe mtu kwa sherehe ana make pesa si eti sherehe but now that wazazi wanaona ni kama ah wewe ulishaenda huko mm. ni kama hata tupende mambo yake mm. inaanza ku do a thing so for, for your parents may feel like mm. tunahitaji wazazi kama so wazazi wa mm. they know man they big up big up sana eh hey, what wali, wali ni support mm. sana uh-huh. but so you see them they just distance themselves so mm. uh, by the it brought problems eh? that is the thing ni mangen big ngia events i ningine ko kire big acha ko mo jen si ki cho ngere yi chi tugul ko ma me se te ko winye nyi ma ge les ki tinda yi ki ngwa na ki ana ge tinda nga lak chi inge te ji da ile je ni mama ne ngong ila ge re de ni si events a wo tinda je kondo no 
tutarede ya gicha ya events sizoro je kundo because tried and tested is kid no yo igera money le wiri ko tunda je kundo wiri ko weekends ko mi yela mi yo yo no ko had atunda chi very close to me ni mam the cousins aha aho na ngo mo je le je ko ge events je mo mo aho aho the sigi ko aho chi pic che che ex regali actually they were so big back then actually the the families mi ten je kundo ko cha ko limbo Vitani Olimba Vitani Bandora Olimba mm. Bandora zene yeah. So onye de kiguru para mulot kiguru kaze ba kiguru kiguru amnesi we quit log jo lazy go we go log a boti gaza lazy go we ki jita lago gengne kot ko gale ji dama jo ya ya ke net events events go we ki nanu ile ja aya ile ja ne kyo beta manga Tao ngere ile mage ile ngale kiko magororo Well well go in the imagine is in here na kutana na mzazi mzazi wa maybe girlfriend wako eh amesikia sikia ngwali ngwali ya kwamba jita ne date ni my daughter squeeze go weary akikushika hii magoro my daughter manzi ufanye ni my daughter sura pata ni blame yani or my blame game zingine hapo nya hata hii eh so igere ile it brought actually a big rift ah ago ki 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 mago ki mapatangi because i know me my own way i had to do what i wanted to do to make it happen and the weirdest thing of how i got into events ko gimi even gigure exoriality it was when i was finishing my form for k2012 so that time go tom get shoot the third time Oh, with that event at the Vega Lady Gay. Coach the event train in me you mean that? I want me to go no you need to tell you mut. Lady Gay in Impala yo. Lady Gay. Could get you orani a visit orani man mama to go. Lady Gay sao. Ah, ke ba ke sir gai mit. Ke ba ke ba ngam tu tu ke ba ngam gita ke tu. Go ma chut ke? December ke event neta. Kuma buku kuma burgo yiga buku yiga u kimnyano kicherwa ne na no chep kondok chepa event neta aja kiki chonga ni ar titenda ine ara ingleji ni jida we si usapote na si mungile mungile mambe pesa event ka kumbuka event tiangu ya kwanza ni kilipo after kilipo ni lega pesa wa socks we yezo lingata ukeka kwa socks kuna rabi shak ni kona ni keka apa inezo ne kana Nikia kapa ilikuwa kanivo bro kanivo ai ai nilega kwa socks agi mti ya mti ya kaka agi gero gero tu kwa nyonje pale pale na bise no jaraka tu kuweka pesa kwa socks but 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 we we grew up igeri bro mwache mama ne kigo 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 use toka town ni si eh goram gima ginge ndugu njacha ago mamwa onji ni le git nda ga jek si gik chi mo go expose site gere that is the thing mo mo aje mo go git nda si gik nda ne git nda che konda ko mo mo on tukun because kere ko lu ka wechi na na ngal ya nga atin me tu tu evils na ko mo una ta so kya cham ki jok si gik jo gi ma ma ke ma tere jis ko le to ya tu guk jo ju ha ha yes ko ne ne bora mo ma ma mo na me la ko da chi Yeah no con yeah no con event shape flop then no ai bob san well in our lifetime we did almost 30 events mm. so but the last one we did one with an international artist that almost nobody came yeah. but the mistake i learned years later yeah. he gure that event crime scene oh. so about about you guys guys ultimate hangout was a drug free event yeah. many people showed up mm. this one was crime scene mami jita let ndo lo go ni maja go lo go go ba crime scene the mom get you go bad when the crime scene what mm. kuna kitu kuna kitu uh, 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 natural thing kama mvoi sha effect event you know? um <laughs> dikio <to> ld <laughs> bro kumbuka no sikia ma piano bro mm. Clouds in Agada ira pote So we just keep Eh Tunona ya mapiano asa na sema shit bro Phone call nyaje 
Unaona hiyo mapya ndio kiapa. Hiyo mvua iko kama hakuna. Hiyo eh man. Bara ile bamba ni. Umse alisema. But tulikuwa tumeenda kwa shosho ya bill. Akasema magere bro bani. Bro, so so mkaenda mkaenda juu ya rapen. What rapen asubuhi. Eh mzee tuliza shosho. Yeye taona rovi. Shosha katoka nje akaenda kusema ah we anasema ni mvua inapita inasema ni uwe roba sirta sirta aya ya nilikuwa naambia wase hiyo mm. hiyo event ita hapa na kuna mvua na unajua fani na fai kunyesha bro sure ili drizzle tu kiasi na oh, and then also mm. well, now that you've said about acts of god eh? mm. king of <laughs> events you realize any you know you learn from other events okay mm. events tiki tiki ya gumi hata blankets yeah but kio which rob ta kabisa yani na sile mvua 30 minutes mm. rob ta yani ni nyone aroma relax. Mm. Yeah. So you, you end up with no yani mate ndai support system. Mm-hmm. So that has taught me that every event now yeah. Kaga mazo ka uti na mo. Wa mo wa leja gere gere veni. A gere suppliers to a gere the type of artist that that contracts. A gere gini ko permits. In suppliers you. Mm. Angot ko ko denten so much. Make sure we take it in the tent. Mm-hmm. Angot got come tent ne o tent ne mujo go go fit and white. Kini ki magi ko magi invest anticipate any rain like ne mujo. You get it? Because ki agar bi ki a jango lose any uh, customers for their next mm-hmm. events because ki roban ago ma ma tent. So what, what happens in a in a such a situation where event ime totally flop because of a natural uh, cause come on vua like ime flood literally. <laughs> event it just happen mm. what happens to the event organizer and all these other sponsors and artists what happens do we mm. what to unini uh, reschedule re- this event or what happens um, one thing i've learned and it's a very painful decision anyone can do yeah key okay, event mm. any event mm. well come on event heza fanyika mm. artist just show up ama imenyesha mm. ama for some reason the venue something happened in the venue mkanyimo venue yeah cancel that whole event. Oh yeah. Cancel it to the ground as in they take it to go about that event. The next event eh yeah, quick something the terror. Oh, so I get refund them. Oh, so refunds happens. Refunds do happen. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you go at a loss doing that because in go ni you just more late in one transaction fees to go. Yeah. Logistics yeah. yeah. So kagere bi kango ni mona juzi fellow leti. I think they are a piano guy. He did not show up again for the other event. Mm. For this event no goes here though. Oh yeah. So and he did not come for the other one yeah. as well. So those two are those are two events. Mm. That is a big mistake. Ne simple na ne kita na ibija kita make ne joy to la got ko management ne got ko inam chip kondo jo ko mot ko wa chi felo. Ko lia ko wa chi another artist. Ang to go go 2050% about the 50% is 25%. Ko lia ni ko this other Mm. That is the only way. Ongele mambo ya ku cancel ku fanya nini? Akire otinye calligraphy alikuwa na alikuwa in the live na na Oh yeah. Na Rose Ari Cross. Unaona na baadaye akatuambia aiko hapa na akatuambia ati so Kenya bana ro mbaya bana. Ni reporter ku reporter ati account yake bana imagine opportunity na kuja hii imefika hapa na they imagine it possible by then they imagine ujel kwa na kibio kwa ile nyumba yake wewe mtu wangu chaja wewe ni shida alo ataka kwenda hapo kwa balcony au they said our nation gong hills na na town hills imagine it so sure ile opportunity ba huni recross ako na numbers bro yani ile opportunity maybe ma celeb wengine wamajua ngaona eh kumna msani kama huyu afrika mmoja tesa unaona like una feel wewe we, kama deni zina feel nani alifanya hiyo kitu isi hapa um ama jo mungi nikigeza around with thing bible eh yeah. oh, many people tend to joke around with it lakini yeah. mimi as i've grown with the few kenya chukia yetu kidogo yeah. amwaje ni gale manda ah yeah, yeah. there's a very pos- there's bible. a possibility kigo ser bible gole mugule na go chi ko tui ago ko ko mingi iso man bible and i'm good coming in understand and give idea ko problem ko mm. any human being ko tom ko toaritin imaje amaje na ile ki ki to liumbo to be wicked people mm-hmm. yeah, right? so angot ko chamin jita ko chamin because 
me tell attachment of value to mm. from him to you magita ke angot mama nengung angot baba nengung ngot konyorun yae kit ngele ke barji obo mi twa mi bi jel muju kole a baba nengung man lakini we seven time mm. go and seven time j true i cannot guard you you get it go mm. not over life so you get it you know calligraph ko chita ne ki ki gona acta in life ki 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 ngenji to cool story nenyi kayole buruburu nono wo teke ke got awo wo kichi ta ne make any good financial decisions in life a good strategies che ki go tarete ne andat ko i'm very sure me the big angot me angot him muji realize ani le ki nga ti chek chita angot one being me big pokolo na angot one angot ne report na ka o maybe a close friend and it's a close friend it's a close friend ma gele big chim chim mo nini chim mo chubasang Chita ne susin ko chita ne bagai. Mm. Ma susin chita ne wasang yo. Kin mo kin ne las mai mo je ge murenet ko mo angot ko ke nomin ge le ka nge chita ko nge nomin na ge le ji ko ange na le ko ye ju ko ye ju ko chita ka mo chita ge. So a mo je a mo je a mo le mo je ka psa en calligraph. I know that was an opportunity to put Kenya in the map because Angen hasol ngi go yawe. Chida ne imuji le self mo. Ma samji platform. Ngere ma us some of us ji kitebe box yo abiga lak. Ah nice. Aya eh minga la chiko go testai size currently in name it. Ya chiko go testai. Awo I loud big chiko ga go ngale chiko ba crypto. Mhm. Amuji am I've, I've been I've been I've been an ardent uh, crypto fanatic for a bit. Yeah, so so this is it deno. Mm. Uh, as we are winding up mm. sit na ko gana very hot segment. Mm. Why? Never never cast. It hot so, hot seat. Yeah, hot seat. So mm. I think no shata ku attack 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 to lead on that game. Mm-hmm. So uh, I think to nda ku mention to one name alafu moyo to ambi your honest opinion mm. about what what you think about yeah. uh, in it one word play yeah. so you mention something mm. you you unafikiria your opinion and your perspective about it unato pay what do you think mm. with only one word you reply with one word yeah i not that one then your bro pito tanu ya pito tanu um legendary legendary correct eh nikita kering Bono na sweat bro. Na taka I'm I'm, too, I'm looking for a word. Yeah, yeah, look look for uh, next level. Next level awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, um um I have a potter. Uh hey, Mandago. Um a fighter. A fighter. Mm. Ah. <coughs> Branchira. Um I can say brave. Brave. Okay. Um, I had to malizia na um, Elid Kipchoge. I'm looking for a good word. Uh I can say the great got basically i am moy the let the former president i can see a teacher mm. kalenzin community uh, conservative ah thank you so that's much i think to malize um, malize in style so <laughs> that's what's up mkitu wana tuko reserved nini ah, by the way by the by the denos wa party uh, by the uh, i think we nimekumbuka mm-hmm. so the tukianza podcast then i think from last year tulikuwa tumeambiwa si tukifika 5k mm-hmm. si tunakangangana wasi kuna wasi wako na beef na sisi mbaya tulikuwa tumeambiwa tukifika 5k tunawaika event ya mm-hmm. hangout ya kutit hangout mm-hmm. so uh, i think tutasaidiana na wewe tuweke kutit festival eh hey, now, that, now that now that tuko na mtu events up correct uh, actually uh, actually mm-hmm. the good thing about that uh, mm-hmm. is now as we've grown into events mm-hmm. which we are actually celebrating our 10th year this year. Mm. 
in events, a decade of doing events, being in the business. Mm-hmm. Um, we've introduced also extra services mm-hmm. as part of our company. Mm-hmm. And so we'll also be going into the ticketing space mm-hmm. to make sure that all your events are very secure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If event organizer ni mtu anacheza na pesa yako, mm-hmm. we kuwa safe mm-hmm. when you're buying from our ticketing platforms yeah. because aita aita ibiwa yeah uko na uko na already maybe unaweza unaweza waambia tu ni tuaje alafu maybe uh, we have a ticketing company called io tickets uh-huh. um, it's going to launch in australia uh-huh. also in kenya uh-huh. and then we're also looking at launching it all in in, uh, in the us uh-huh. and partly also in the uk That's so it will be a ticketing platform like eventbrite uh-huh. so and we have our ambassador here uh-huh. nosh who will be using it as well. Yes. yes. So that's what's up. That's good. Wagwan, um, yo guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe man the road to 10,000 subscribers. Na mujue sisi ni drug free. Drug free.